It is not easy to make a school team for Matt Field Day. Uh, and believe me, I heard some of the, the sponsors say, you know, their alternates were like bummed out because everyone showed up and they couldn't come. Even the alter, alternates were excited about coming today. So, and this is a lot of extra work on the side for you to prepare yourself to get here or to be here and take the, and, and then for those who win, it's even more work because you've got to even, you've got to continue to work hard if you want to place at the regional level. So I congratulate each and every one of you who competed today. Also congratulate the parents who are here and not here for uh, doing a great job in uh, supporting you and getting you to this point. And you should thank your parents as well for doing that. Whoever that special person is who takes care of you at home, whether it's your mom, dad, your grandparents, your aunt, your uncle, whoever that may be, uh, you should thank them for supporting you and helping you get to this point. I also want to thank, uh, to, when they asked me to, to, uh, to run Math Field Day this year, um, I was smart enough to find somebody who knew a lot more about math than me. So I called um, or emailed a couple of teachers in the county, uh, Megan Hatfield, who's a teacher at the high school, and Stephanie Workman, who's a teacher at Hamlin, PK8, and uh, asked them to help organize this. And they, you know, they were on board right away, and uh, they're the ones they're, who are responsible for putting all those easy questions together for them or not so easy questions together for you. So uh, I want to thank them. Um, also, uh, one of the best bits of news I heard today came from them because I heard them talking about things that they would like to change for next year, which tells me that they want to do it again next year. <laughs> so that's really exciting news for me to hear today. Um, I also want to thank uh, Tina Black, who, uh, you know, the pizza that's in front of you, and Sue Burton, uh, all for preparing the food, preparing the rooms, getting them ready for the test, getting the substitute teachers for your teachers to be here. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, and uh, Mrs. Black has been doing this for a lot of years. As a matter of fact, back when I was in Back when I was in elementary school, she was doing the same thing, uh, helping to organize it here for the county. So, uh, and I'm not going to tell you that I'm uh, 50 years old. So she's been doing this a long time. So, <laughs> so we really do appreciate her. Uh, for all that she does with Matt Field Day, of course, Ms. Cheryl Workman, always have, have been a part of this for many years, and, and uh, uh, due to unexpected circumstances, she stepped back a little this year, but she couldn't keep stay away. So she's here. I certainly want to thank all you uh, principals for supporting your kids and you know being here for them right now. It says a lot that that you're putting your students' academics in front of a a lot of other things that are going on in your schools right now that you put those on the back burner to be here for them. So that, that's a lot for them. And I certainly want to thank the teachers uh, who prepared you to be here, whether they had a class in school where they worked with you or they kept you after school and worked on their own time to help prepare you to be here. I want to thank them as well. And also for being here to help monitor the rooms and keep the scores all that stuff. And I'm sure I'm missing a lot of people, and I, and, and I apologize if I missed you. Uh, Ms. Kersey for ordering the plaques and getting them here for us. Uh, I did thank the parents. Okay. All right. Yeah, somebody's not listening. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, now we're going to go on with the ceremony, okay, with the award ceremony. And uh, we're going to start with the elementary level 
at, at the fourth grade, we're going to start with alternate. Now, alternate is very important because even though you won't get a plaque, you will get a packet. So you'll need to come forward and get your packet because you can still go to the regional math field day. Uh, the and they'll they actually let you is. take the test there. Yeah, you, the only thing you cannot uh, participate in is the relays at the regional. So you'll, you'll be able to do all the other events that particular day. And the thing is, if one of your teammates doesn't show up, you're it. So you, it's an important position to have, and it's important that if you get it, that you show up at the regional down in Logan County. Okay? All right, so let's start with the alternate. In fourth grade from Ranger Elementary, we have Alex Hatfield. Jackson Shaw. Okay. All right, second place, fourth grade, Midway Elementary, Sydney Kyler. First place winner for fourth grade is from Midway Elementary and it is Ethan Cooper. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move to fifth grade. The alternate is from Midway Elementary. It's Dawson Thompson. Third place, fifth grade, from Midway Elementary, Isaac Thompson. Second place winner, fifth grade, from Hearts, EK8, is Anthony Wiley. <laughs> and our first place winner, also from Midway Elementary is Emma McClung. <laughs> All right, now, now we want to, uh, well, let's let a picture get taken. Three, two, one, All right, now we're going to announce our overall team champion, team champion at the elementary level. And the winner is Midway Elementary. Midway Elementary, come up. All three fourth grade and all three fifth grade students for the Come on, Coach. Where's Ethan? Ethan. 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 Ethan.
from Duval Middle School, Katie Pauly. from Duval Middle School, Dakota Thompson. Thank you to the Lincoln Journal, and at this time we are finished.